everything you need to know about coronavirus. By now you've probably heard about this new coronavirus epidemic that started in China and spread to more than a dozen countries. This new coronavirus is part of this massive family of viruses that includes everything from SARS, on one hand, which is a deadly infection to the common cold which is far from deadly. Based on very early data, we're seeing that infected people seem to have a fever cough and viral pneumonia to a bad chest infection. It seems a little bit different from what we saw back in 2002 where people were more likely to have a sore throat, a runny nose and diarrhea. There's already evidence that this new coronavirus does spread from person to person. The interesting thing is that it seems to be more infectious than SARS which is another coronavirus but less deadly. So now we think that the death rate from the new coronavirus is around 2.5 to 3.5 percent. For SARS it was in the double digits, it was at least 10 or 11 percent. The incubation period for the new coronavirus could be 3 to 6 days as some experts say but others say it could be as many as 14 days. The number keeps changing as we get more information but here's one of the worrying things. It looks like some people with this infection were contagious even before they had any symptoms themselves. If that's true that can make it trickier to get a handle on the epidemic. So, what do you need to do to protect yourself? The answer to that really depends on who you are and where you are. If you are in China, you're going to have to take different precautions to if you live in the United States. So far the guidance for Americans is to practice good hand hygiene because we're in the middle of flu season and you should get your flu shot because flu kills tens of thousands of Americans every year and go to websites like cdc.gov or the WHO website and they will have to have a guide for you that is updated day by day. This new epidemic is serious but here's the thing as this new virus spreads so does misinformation about the virus as well as a spread of fear and panic. If people get really scared during an epidemic, one thing that they might do is descend on their local hospitals, using up resources and packing the place. When really the doctors there need to focus on the people who are seriously ill. What you need during a public health crisis is information and calm and it's very frustrating to see on social media that there are so-called scientists and people who should know better, really inciting panic and fear among the public. There's misinformation spreading right now about the new coronavirus outbreak. Everything from people saying that you should drink bleach to cure it, please do not ever for any reason drink bleach there are some racist and xenophobic things that are also spreading. Things like you shouldn't go to Chinatown if you live in London. That's ridiculous. It's a racist nonsense. This is not the first time that misinformation and disinformation about an epidemic has been spread on social media. We saw this in 2014 to 2016 during the West African Ebola epidemic. We saw all sorts of rumors then things like if you eat raw onions or eat ground coffee that would cure the disease and not only was that not true but it can be really harmful if somebody's exposed to that and they believe that more than they believe a credible source. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel to learn more about coronavirus.